it's Sarah from All Coin Bust Ladies, and today we'll talk about Cryptopia and what exactly happened with it or one of the hacks. But before we do so, Bitcoin yesterday reached a new all time high for 2019 of $9,000. It pulled back then and it currently stabilized around 8,400 if I am correct. But what I want to talk about is the tweet before we go into the video. Owl Queen Sarah, which is my own Twitter, being the best time to buy Bitcoin was 10 years ago. The second best time is now. And please bear this in mind whenever you think about Bitcoin, especially when the Bitcoin will be at 1 million one day. Hopefully, it'll happen sooner rather than later. And you can just think about it when this girl called Oi Queen Sarah told you so. Because I don't really want to say I told you so, but I might unfortunately end up saying so. Anyway, let's get on to the topic. So basically what happened is that the appointed liquidator, Grant Thornton, which is a New Zealand published its report today saying that 69 unsecured creditors are owed at least $1.37 million and secured creditors over 900000 with a deficit of over $1.5 million. Secured creditors include Delian Z and Coca-Cola Amantel. Staff at the firm are owed around 200000 for outstanding salaries and holiday pay, as well as 177000 in unsecured debt. So basically, Grant Thornton said that the amount owned to unsecured creditors is likely to rise. This is just their initial analysis. And Cryptopia basically was hit by a major hack in mid-January, resulting in significant losses. The liquidators report basically said that though Cryptopia had to be started trading, volumes were insufficient for the company to meet its debt as they felt due and it was decided uh, the appointment of liquidators was in the best interest of customers, staff and other stakeholders. And it's really hard to believe that this was their best option, but this is just a summary of what I've read over here. And earlier this week, basically, Grant Thornton filed for bankruptcy protection in the US to preserve Cryptopia data stored and host it on service with an Arizona-based firm. So basically, let's talk a little bit more about numbers. And at the time of the liquidation, when it happened, the exchange possessed almost $700,000 in cash, but had a loan of around $150,000. It also had fixed assets with a face value of over $1.3 million, although the value that would likely be recoverable is more likely around $240,000. And Cryptopia's tax liabilities as well are still unknown as New Zealand's tax authority was carrying out an audit when the firm filed for liquidation. And the effort obviously to recover the crypto's loss in the hack is ongoing by the local police, which was one of the first reasons why the Cryptopia was completely closed down. And now also with the liquidators also enlisting the help of former staff. And this also involves gaining access to the company's crypto assets, wallets, and transferring them to secure cold storage where available. So basically, the whole point I want to say over the whole Cryptopia hack, which is absolutely terrible what happened earlier this year, we had a Kudrika hack as well. It wasn't ideal either. Those things unfortunately happen. I just want everyone to remember that storing your tokens on an exchange is probably the worst thing you could possibly do. And remember, guys, not your keys, not your crypto. It's as simple as that, unfortunately. So guys, let me know if you actually lost any coins on the Cryptopia hack. I will admittedly say, I say don't store tokens on an exchange, but I did have some. Those were the coins I cared about, luckily. There were some shit coins I actually bought back in 2017 when I bought basically all the old coins, which is why I'm all coin Sarah. And currently, I don't even know what I'm missing, but I don't really care care about what's gone so at least i'm lucky but i hope that most of you is in the same position as i was if not then i'm really sorry to hear it but i hope you will learn from it and you'll know to teach better on the future investments so guys let me know what you thought of this video what you want me to review next and hopefully you'll have a good weekend just like i will catch you all later